Let's get into the first thing here. I'm talking about uh, Ukraine, Russia-Ukraine war. Um, this, uh, it's been, I guess, been kind of quiet for a little while because I haven't really heard too much about it. But I guess there was a strike. Um, the Ukrainians did a drone strike on Moscow in a Moscow building. It's pretty, pretty benign, realistically. It did a little damage to a building. It was like a government official business uh, building. I mean, and I guess now this is kind of like you know some type of uh, you know retaliation, I guess, but. According to Ukraine, Russia has been attacking uh, Zelensky's hometown for you know, the whole war. But I'll read this article, and this is from BBC News. So again, like I always say, take it with a grain of salt because uh, it's the BBC News. So you're going to be very weird about it. Ukraine war, Russia strike on Zelensky's home. A home city kills six. So at least six people, including a 10-year-old girl and her mother, have been killed by a Russian missile strike on the Ukrainian city of... Can't read that? For Vivi, I guess. Uh, Ukraine's interior minister said 69 others were injured when missiles slammed into a high rise building and university on, on Monday. It's pretty sad when they're attacking um, you know, residential buildings and the civilian buildings. But, you know, war is war. I mean, what are you going to do? What are you? This is, I always I have this debate with people when we're talking about you know, war. It's, I would liken it to like a fight, like a, just a regular fight between two people. If you have, so if, if I'm a big, strong guy and I'm and a, and a smaller guy comes at me and wants to fight me. Okay, sure. The onus might be on me to, to be, you know, to go easy a little bit maybe or whatever. But if that small guy is bringing all of his forces at me, he's going to use weapons or any of that kind of stuff. Well, you know what? He's probably going to get pummeled. So um, as much as I disagree with, I'm not on Russia's side on on this war. Uh, I'm not on anyone's side in any war, realistically. Um, but you know, I, I think in this case, there's there's a lot of uh, arguments to be made that uh, Ukraine is kind of the, um, you know, uh, how do I say this? Russia's being a bit of the villains here in some way. But again, it's very it's it's very messy. War is always messy. But anyways, so I'm not a big fan of of, you know, uh, civilian buildings being attacked, but at the same time, it is war. Things are going to happen. Sadly, people are going to be killed, civilians, you name it, right? Anyways, okay, so I'll continue reading this article. I'm not going to read very much of it. It's, um, it's pretty pretty dry, so I'll, I'll skip down a little bit. Uh, President Zelensky, who grew up in the city of 600,000 people, said a pair of missiles smashed into the residential apartment block in a university building early on Monday morning. Locals told the Reuters news agency that the attack took place shortly after nine uh, local time. So seven uh, GMT, what is that, Gross Mountain time? Or, um, I don't know. What it, I don't even know what they stand for. Okay, so uh, Pres President Zelensky added that dozens of people had been left traumatized and injured at, by the attack, but vowed that this terror will not frighten us or break us. He always does that. He always says that. Ooh. Okay, sure. What are you going to say? Oh, this one was the one. You okay? This was the one that shut us down. We're done. Okay, you know he's he's such an actor. This guy's such an actor. But you know, I, I okay, I, I get it. Obviously, that uh, you know he wants to wants to play strong and and uh, you know be the the fearless leader. But you know, just okay, relax on the rhetoric. Uh, earlier this month, earlier this month, the UN said there have been some twenty five thousand six hundred seventy one civilian casualties since Russia launched its invasion of Ukraine last year. But the true figure is likely to be far higher. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't know. I mean, how would you know? People would have to report them missing, all this various stuff. So it's um, hard to say how many people really are, were uh, killed or have been killed uh, as far as civilians in that in that uh, conflict. But very sad when we're seeing uh, when we're seeing people being uh, you know that aren't part of the war being being killed. Ah, hello, Art. Uh, real victims are the regular citizens. West West Ukraine is predominantly Russian speaking in favor of Russian government. It is it was annexed to Russia. There wouldn't be this if it were if it was annexed to Russia. There wouldn't be this conflict. Uh, that would have been sensible. Zelensky is also a war profiteer. Yes, I agree with all that. Um, he's um, you know, he's loving this. Let's be real. He's loving this. This is uh, I I don't I don't see. I don't see this guy and 
the current Western government ever coming to some kind of sensible agreement to end this war, to give, to make concessions, to to do what's needed to be done to end end a conflict. I think, I think he's just, I think he's loving the attention right now. That's just my personal opinion, but um, prove me wrong. I don't know. Hopefully, uh, hopefully something happens with this next uh, election cycle and we can get some type of resolution to this, regardless of whether the Democrats win or the Republicans or who knows, a third party uh, libertarian or something. 